Right, okay, so let's do something. I think for this video we're gonna um we're gonna take the back wheel off, right? So this is obviously quite a simple procedure uh, for most, but if you haven't tackled a back wheel on a single sided swinging arm, specifically this bike as well, which is Daytona 955. Okay, pretty straightforward. What we've got to do is take this little retaining springy clippy thingy off and do said nut and uh, just pop everything off. But first, what we've got to do is take the brake caliper off. Okay, so I'm just putting this clip in before we actually do the job because. I'm a nugget. I did say that we need to take the uh, caliper off to remove the wheel, and we didn't. Uh, I do allude to that when I kind of stumble across when I'm <laughs> when I'm actually doing the job. I've done this job before, a few years ago now. Completely forgot. My memory is shocking. So I'm just putting this in now and making myself look a bit of a tit in a few minutes. Okay, because. Wheel ain't going nowhere when that's in situ. Okay, so also, as you can see, I've got it on my paddock stand, so what I'm gonna have to do is just do a bit of a heath robinson some stop the wheel um, from moving. Could put it in gear, but I've took the gear levers off to clean them all up and the brake pedal off as well. So, bike's in a bit of a Bit of a stay in a minute. Well, not so much a stay, but just uh, taking things off just to clean it or get access to other bits and bobs anyway. Rambling on again as per usual. Right, so we've just got to get the brake caliper off. Now, easy said than done, I suppose. One bolt. You can see just in helping that bloody lights glaring it out there. Right, so one bolt obviously here. I've already been in there and cracked it loose a little bit because it was pissing awkward and don't want to waste people's time watching that crap. Okay, and then the other one, we'll see in here, which is a little bit awkward as well. So I've just cracked that off loose as well. So what I'll do now is undo those, drop the caliper down, because I'm probably gonna, probably gonna do a caliper clean up and everything because then as well. Um, not in this video, but it will be at some point anyway. Right, let's crack on with that a minute. Right, so we've got a different light on because we're getting a bit of glare off the one. Right, so just for reference, if you're interested, 14 mil. Like I say, I've already cracked it off anyway, so. I've done this off before. If I did it right, I would have put copper grease on there or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, it looks like I did. One down. Changed in the way of this one, so you won't be able to see that nut, but you will see me fumbling about anyway, so just gonna support the caliper. Obviously I cracked this one off as well, a little bit awkward to get in there. There you go. Couple of grease on there as well. Blimey, did my job right. Let's drop it off. Easy said and done, hey? Right, but well that's off. Just rest it there for a minute. Okay, tools for the job. Break them up. Stick that in there. So obviously we're gonna counterclockwise. Yeah, counterclockwise. And think about it no. Okay, so just stop that moving around because it's not on the floor, so we've got no traction on. Okay, the all important thing. 46 mil, okay? The segment. 
Let's get this off nice and easy. And Seth's fumbling. A little jubbly. Basically, when you do that, there's um, there's a couple of holes here. So you've just got to line the holes up with, it's like a castle now, isn't it? So you've just got to get it tight so you can get said clip through there and just ping it around. Right, so 46, there we go, lovely jubbly. Using a wooden rubber mallet so I don't damage your piece of wood would be fine. Just so I don't damage anything when I'm spinning it around. All putting tension on it, shall I say. Okay, plenty of grease in there and everything. I want to get these clean up and everything. A couple of years ago, I had this fad of painting things. I don't know why I did it. Sort of shit I was doing when I was a kid. Right. So obviously, just be careful, mindful when you take everything off. There's whatever you call it, like a spacer inside there and everything like that. So. Obviously I'm going to clean all these up and everything before they go back in anyway. But let's just pop that in a Get a bit of tissue. Great British weather, eh? Lovely. Right, just gonna I don't know whether that's in the camera shot anyway. Right, so just lay it down basically as it comes off so you know. Take the old hammer out. Okay, so that's a 46 socket there, 14 mil for the brake calipers. You just need a spanner or just a bit of an extension and a twisty thing. Whatever the term is for it, who knows? Basically, Bosch. Did you know what? I probably didn't need to take off that caliper, did I? See, when you ain't done anything for a little while. Right, anyway, plenty of grease on there and everything, so obviously the last time I had it off, I've done all the white stuff, should we say, it's top of grease. I believe that's probably the right grease put in there really, so not a problem. Right, so that's off, that just gives me access to um, clean all the bits and mods as well actually, just check things out, give it all clean. So obviously. I did give it a big clean up before, right? but then, you know, then I had a sun on it before the problems. And now I just want to give it a clean up again. That chain and sprocket. The sprocket, I think the sprocket's okay. It doesn't, it's not too bad, but the chain's screwed. I mean, that's, Jesus, I wouldn't even lie to say if that's the chain from when the bolt was uh, new, who knows. But um, this feel all right. Um, I'm not going to, this is a bit of a budget as well, right? so I ain't got a load of money to throw about, but I'm definitely going to get new chain and sprockets, front sprockets as well. I might put different sides on there as well, and look into that. But definitely a nice chain on there, so that'll be one of the, the video what we'll do as well. We'll, we've got a, various different ways of getting the chain off, haven't we? I've got the tools to get it off. Some people just, well, if you're going to, if you're going to chip the chain away, right? And you can't see the link on it. People just grind it off, don't they? But because that's got a lot of uh, well, it's capped in. See, it's looking blazing, I suppose. But anyway, we'll get it off. But there's the wheel off, and as you can see, it gives you plenty of room to manoeuvre, doesn't it? Eh? Right, that's that. Caliper off for no apparent reason. Great stuff. 
quick one on this. Obviously, said when you take things off, take them off in order. Be careful how things come off from one thing another. Also, like this one, it's hard to tell at the minute because it's still covered in grease, but it is kind of got a raised edge one side, like you know, like it's uh, it's kind of domed one side. Now that's the way it came off, so that's the domed edge there. So don't just presume it's a normal flat washer from one thing or another. So always check anything you take off, just check how it's come off and just just check it, just see how it looks from one thing or another. This looks a bit worse for wearing, there's a bit of crap on there anyway. I'm gonna clean that up anyway. But yeah, so obviously that came off that way and it's just raised this side, it just domed over a little bit. Okay, alright, peace out.